working the nightclub scene when I was 19 years old. Jack and I were the best of friends and saw each other through it all. We laughed a lot, cried some, and crammed a lot of living into those 10 years. They were some of the best years of my life. And also, some of the worst. I think you should see someone. What are you talking about? It's under control. It's important. You don't want us to end up like Jack and Vicky. What have they got to do with it? 
can't go on this way. Something's got to change. Let's go away for a while. Take a holiday or something. We can't afford it. Money doesn't matter. You need a break. We need a break. Jack's coming home soon. We can all go away together. We haven't done that for years. It'll be great. Come on. What do you say? We'll talk about it when he gets here, OK? OK. Your wife said you suffer from insomnia. And when you finally do go to sleep, you have nightmares. I'm scared of screwing up my own life. I want these dreams to end. Tell me about them. Three years ago, I was stabbed in the chest during a street fight. Now I keep reliving it. There's also these weird images of the guy who did it. Do you know him? I grew up with him. Vajal Kaminsky. He's known on the street as Pharaoh. Nightclub bouncers do suffer extremes of emotion. Fear, hate, frustration, boredom, even love. All in the course of one evening. That's enough to overload anyone's system. Exactly. I wanted our bad. Every Saturday night I went to quit. I couldn't do it. What do you think the hook is? The hook? Why you couldn't quit? Something had a hold of you. Your head was saying, leave. Your heart was saying, no, stay. What do you think it was? I suppose the deep part of the friendship we developed was part of it. Who's we? Jack and I. We worked the best part of six years together. Good times, bad times, we saw it all. You said you were afraid of losing your home life. How? I watched this Jack's marriage crumble around him. I saw the pain he went through as this job destroyed what he and Vicky had. Celeste and I'd end up like that. You do all those three days until the Shizu Festival, and there's a whole week of total lunacy, so don't miss out the Dragon Dance. It's definitely worth the trip up. Speaking of trips up, I'd like to welcome all those tourists who have just travelled 1,700 lonely miles up from Perth in an unair conditioned car. Good morning and welcome to Broome. It's going to be another hot one here in the northwest, currently 93 beautiful degrees. Heading to that magical 100. And if you're out in the sun, don't forget the hat and the block out. It's slip, slop, slap, guys, for God's sake. Wrap a towel around your head if you have to. And reminding all those people at Cable Beach, it's Dolce Chick Day and the banks are now open. Here's a blast from the past.
job certainly hasn't changed. Have you? It all ain't that bad. It's good to see you again, Jack. So, how's the club going? Joe still giving everyone the shits? Ah, oh, you know what it's like. Nothing changes, really. Put that crap with Pharaoh to rest yet? Who? Yeah, right. No, Celeste will be looking forward to seeing you again. How is she? Yeah, she's good. Don't know how she puts up with me, though. I don't know how anyone puts up with you. You coming into the club tonight? Say hello to everyone? What, that shit hot? Well, that's a great attitude. I worked there for six years. I earned my attitude. You are always on permanent holidays. <laughs> Coming for a drink? Yeah, I'll be there in half an hour, okay? Look, yeah. Stop blocking the doorway. Come on. Scott? Yeah. Hello, Rocks. Is it gonna work here or what? You've got to be kidding. Come on, man. The guy was great. You know, yeah, remember the old right. days with yeah, yeah, fantastic, remember, huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, three of us together. Remember him? Yeah. Hey! Jack! Yeah. Oh, yeah. hey, where have you been? Hey, hey. I can't do it anymore. What do you mean? You're going to break up the team? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying, Tom? Hmm? Listen, mate, I don't want to work with any other asshole around town. Mate, you're going to be OK. It's not going to be OK. I want to work with you're you, You're going okay? to be OK. No, I'm not going to be OK. What, have I done something wrong to you or what? Of course not. I just want out. Then why out. are you leaving for, I mate? I just want out. Why? Why? Tell me why. Come on. Oh, fuck. Come on, Max. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> it's been three years. It's ancient history. Come on. As long as you're connected with Pharaoh, then forget it. And why are you still hanging out with these goofs? Where the fuck are you going? Come on, 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 Sit down, Mel. Boss's chair. Yeah, you're the star attraction tonight. Come sit down. Come on, take a seat. Here's to you. Cheers. Now, what have you been doing for the last three years, for God's sake? I've been up north the last year or so. Gold Coast before that. Yeah, heard you and Vicky split up. Yeah, mate, it's hell. I've been through it myself. You still bouncing? Nah. Nah, I just take what I can get. Which lately hasn't been much. Well, you know, any time you need a job, you come to me, sir. <laughs> thanks, Joe, but uh, no thanks. You know, Tom's thinking of leaving. Never thought he'd go, but after that knife fight three years ago, I was there. Yeah, I suppose he got a bit gun shy. 
So most people got to move on. Hey, we all got to move on. <laughs> it's good to see you, you old fucker. <laughs> hey, what do you think of the place? Took me $50,000 to do it up. What do you think of it? You're doing well, Joe. Should make you a lot of money. You should see the women I'm getting. They're all over me. You? That <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be bad for Chris. Well, I'm glad to see you've still got your priorities. Right? Well, what else is there? Come on. Speaking of that, you finish up your drink and let's get back in there. You're not going to get laid sitting in there, OK? Fair enough. This guy's putting $35,000 in sale on that car, yeah? Maybe it's a car, yeah? He made $98,000, didn't he? You made $98,000. This mate tell you a lot? Yeah, this mate tell you a lot? Ah, ha, ha. You know what it is? You wanted a pal, I gave it to you. Pity about the husband. Reception. Tom, the guy's toilet's quick. Fuck! Hell! You fucking fuck! You fucking fuck! I'm fine. Look, why don't you go back to bed? What's happened to your head? Nothing. It's fine. Celeste, I just want to be alone for a while, OK? Talk to me, Tom. I just want to know what happened. Oh, don't start, please. Just don't start. You can't shut me out just like that. For Christ's sakes, just go back to bed. Feels like he messed up. He doesn't talk to me, Jack. Both known him a long time. Doesn't open up that easy. Well, how do you think that makes me feel? He knows you love him. 
give him some space. He has to work it out for himself. What happened tonight? Lenny was ganged up on. Tom sort of feels responsible. How? He was late on the scene. It wasn't his fault. He seems to think he can be in two places at once. You know what he's like. Will Lenny be all right? He'll be fine. What about you? Ah, okay. I just wish he could talk about these things. Isn't easy, is it? It was the same dream again, wasn't it? <clears throat> Where are you going? You said 
weird images. What do you mean? He's always distorted. His features black, his eyes piercing, evil. Why is it happening like this? We all have hidden fears. Some of us are blind, but they're there. Sometimes a certain experience will bring them to the surface. Most of us never witness real acts of violence right in front of us. I'm not talking about television, but real pain, suffering, so close you can touch it, or even inflict it. Eyes gouged, broken bones, scarred for life. safe here. It was so simple being kids. It's funny. I always knew we'd get married. I loved it since I was 10 years old. Always will. Now I come here to think and clear my head. Nightclubs, they're infectious like a disease. You become bitter, your view on human behaviour twisted. The scene has the same politics and values. If you don't play by the rules, you don't fit in. All those years to realise I didn't fit in. I know that leaving the club is the right thing to do. A couple more nights and I'm out. But where do I go from here?
Tom Moranta we all know and love. After this, I'll be anyone you want. How's Lenny? A couple of stitches. He'll be OK. What about you? You're going to show us that great counterpunch of yours? Don't you think I'm entitled to an afternoon of self-pity first? Well, in that case, we'll need another shot of personality. So, have anyone to fill in for Lenny? Yeah. You. Just like old times. Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Louis Pierre. Come in. Get out. Like this. Did you find Mickey? Tracked him down to a small farm about 150 miles east of here. How long has he been there? Two weeks. Some of the boys are keeping an eye on him. If he does a runner, we'll know about it. Has he got any money? We ran a credit check. <laughs> he hasn't got a pot to piss in. He's scared, Pharaoh. He knows you're out. You're doing a good job, Sonny. How do you want to handle it? He owes me 25 grand. How do you think? Get him out here.
Look at you. Couldn't even get a haircut. You look like a Wookiee. One hour. One hour. You couldn't wait, could you? Hey, Jack, like the suit. Listen, fellas, I got the word that uh, Pharaoh got out of jail today. I want you straight. We might have some action here tonight. Boy, did I pick a good time to come out of retirement. Yeah, he's back and he's bigger and he's better than ever. Jesus, I hate this bullshit. Maybe he's back to do the job properly this time. Hey, that's not funny. Tom, you don't think he's going to come back and have a go at you, do you? You guys give me a break. He's just a punk, small time. Prison would have straightened him right out. I don't know. You in hospital for three weeks with 29 stitches. Doesn't sound small time to me. The guy has a problem with reality. He thinks he's Poland's answer to Scarface. Look, I just don't want any trouble from him, right? Talk about tense. Joe looks pretty strung out. Of course he is. He'll be out of here in two days. Who's going to keep Pharaoh in check? Don't even think about it. We're out of here. We're gone. Yeah. Whores, drunks, gangs, dealers. I ain't going to miss this place. Here we go again, singing the Dorman Blues. Tom, how's it going, man? <laughs> See? So, Eddie, tell me, how's the drug business? Oh, shh, man. Keep it down. What do you want to do? Make a public announcement or something? <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, you know, here, Farron's back in town. Thought only good news travelled fast. Who are you? He's nobody. Eddie, we're busy here, so... Yeah, listen, man. Uh, I was wondering if you could lend me a couple hundred bucks. Oh, uh, Eddie. You're still connected with Pharaoh. You're crazy. <laughs> it's bad news to owe him money. Especially when he does business with a 12 gauge. Yeah, well, you know how things get out of hand, you know. All I need is a couple of hundred. Huh? No go, Eddie. Your problem this time. Thank you. Lousy hundred. Forget it. Listen, man. You know what will happen if he gets a hold of me? Fuck off. Idiots. Okay. Now I know why you have so many friends. Pharaoh's been out of jail about eight hours. Ready? I'm sick of him. Guys, let's make it happen here. We got people to see, places to go. Are we on or not? Relax, will you? I want to test it first. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a line. Free, good faith. We ain't users. Matt. <laughs> when is he gonna learn? Things look pretty grim for the bad guys now. Why us? There must be over a hundred car parks in the city. And these clowns choose ours. Well, we always agreed that drug dealers were morons. Max here is a classic example. Piss off. I said, piss off. I'll call you guys later. We'll do lunch. You guys are bad for business. <laughs> Newsflash. Our man Barrow is not going to be happy when he hears about this. Oh, well, you've obviously mistaken us for someone who gives a shit.
plot twist. Things look pretty grim for the good guys now. <laughs> what is the fuck going on here? These two, right? Shut up. I'm talking to you. Who the fuck do you think you are dealing in our backyard? I'll do business wherever I want. Do you know what I got here? Do you? Uh, who gives a shit? Fuck you. Pal, fuck you. Bajo, <laughs> relax. Islam, that you wanted to talk to me. Don't you be so fucking sure of yourself. How do you know I'm not gonna blow your head off? Do it. Go ahead. Do it. Do it! Stay! That's all right, Chekash! Do it! No oh, fuck! Is that what you want? Hey! Fuck off! your name on it. I'll keep it. For a better time. Bad chemistry. What's all that about? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Fucking lunatic. Fuck him. Over, Jack. We can't do this anymore. Look at these clouds. Don't have a home to go to. Cause of our sleepless nights, huh? Plastic people. I don't need this shit. As much as we want out, there's a part of us that wants to be here. We're no different. The only reason we're here is because we can't get a real job. We're like cheap for Neo with a high gloss finish. Oh, well, now that's a cheery thought. I don't understand it. I just don't get it. Why would anyone want to pay eight bucks to get in here, be bumped and shoved around, choke on smoke, and pay a 500% markup on drinks? You know, it's got to be fucked. That sounds like old age. Jack, nine o'clock. Oh. What does she want? What does she want? Are you serious? Go over and talk to her. Why? Why not? She looks like the kind of girl you could base a steady relationship on. Well, go on, what's your problem? She's a glamour. You could do a lot worse than that. Let's face it, you have. I've forgotten how to do this. By the look of her, you won't have to do anything at all. Oh, shit, here she comes. I'll see you in the morning.
Oh. Oh. I'm surprised you've got any energy at all. So, how was it? Love at first sight? Oh, absolutely. Right from the moment when we made deep, meaningful eye contact, the moment I tried to sneak out. Are you going to see her again? No. Well, why not? Tom, we're in bed after speaking three words to each other. It's got to be a slut, right? As soon as it was all over, I wanted to get out. <laughs> why do I do it? Oh. See, we did some soul searching this morning. Look, so she wasn't Vicky. You can't go on hating women forever. Why not? You ready for another round? How long have we been doing this? About three minutes. real. You can't be real. I'm going fucking nuts. Tom? Are you all right? Let's go back to bed. Come on. Get the shit out of me. You, uh... You weren't, uh, wandering around before, were you? What? What's this? Remember that day? Hell, yeah, it must have been a while ago. We all look happy. What the hell happened? Did we do something wrong or what? I don't know. Is it ever going to be like that again? God, I hope so. Girls look good, don't they? Yeah, mine still does. Oh, why don't you kick me when I'm down? I'm so sick of feeling sorry for you. What? You really piss me off sometimes. Have you ever called her? No, not once. Hey, Jack. Remember that guy? You can't go on being dirty on the world forever. Get your act together. Either call her or get on with your life. It's that simple. Whew. 
truth hurts, doesn't it? Celeste had this dream of being a writer. Maybe being married to me made that an impossibility. Her lifestyle didn't seem to be all that inspirational. I know she didn't trust me. Nearly every night at the club with all those available women. She couldn't believe I could be faithful. I don't blame her. Before we were married, I guess I was a little wild. The truth is, I was faithful. I could never hurt her like that. All these experiences accumulate in this big storage area of the mind. And when it's had enough, the defense mechanism cuts in. Why should I remember something unpleasant? Hmm? But after a while, the storage area overflows. It all comes flooding back in the form of whatever scares you the most. What if I can't stand it any longer? Well, that's where the fine line is. The fine line? Of insanity. Hey, I'm not insane. I know. I might need help, but I'm not insane. I know. Sanity is not the question here. What is, is what you have created. You have to confront it.
Make it your friend. If it can't control you, it has no purpose. Hey, Pharaoh. <laughs> hey, listen, you're going to get your money on Tuesday, huh? It's definite. Tuesday afternoon. It was due last Tuesday. Uh, what? You think you can purchase on credit? It doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you're going to get your money, man. I mean, hey, if you break my arms... I'm not going to be able to get it for you. You don't understand, do you? Money's not important. Three grand doesn't matter either way. Everyone on this street knows you're late. And if you're walking around unmarked, they'll think I've gone shoved. <laughs> It is unacceptable. Eddie. Nothing personal. It just has to be done. You fucking prick. 
prick. <laughs> Sorry, boy. drinks tonight, eh? Last night? What do you reckon? I think I can force myself, eh? Behind your army again, Piro? Was it just you and me this time? What are you talking about? It's so simple. You don't go inside. And you keep the fuck away from this club. I'm not gonna argue with you anymore. So you've got two choices. Walk away. Or make you move. <laughs> I've done nothing. I just want to have a drink <laughs> in this club. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. I can't believe this guy. You get the fuck out of here. Or all the wood. Lay your hand on me. And they have you up on the sword. <laughs> <laughs> the 
zasrany gówniarzu. Co ty sobie wyobrażasz, że kto ty jesteś? He? Nie patrz jak kurwa tak na mnie. You are a fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Soon the whole strip is going to be mine. It's just a matter of time. Ten bucks an hour and you're telling me what I can and I can't do. What is that slut wife of yours going to do when we fuck you up? Mess up that pretty face of yours. Eh? Perhaps she won't want you anymore. Then I'll put her out on the street. So she can be fucked by every slimy walk in town.
8.30 Saturday night, Chuck Norris explodes onto the screen in Walker, Texas Ranger. He's the kickboxing cop from the School of Hard Knocks. He's Walker, Texas Ranger, Saturday night, 8.30. And Sunday night, Demi Moore and Jeff Daniels star in a delightful, funny movie premiere, The Butcher's Wife. Your Sunday night at the movies at the special time of 9 o'clock. Stay with us now for The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight's guest list includes actor Martin Short.